Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to tie the Hippie Stomper Attractor Drive Fly. Originated by Andrew Grillos or Grios, not sure how he pronounces it, but it's been a killer fly for us this year. I've got a one extra long nymph hook in the vise. You could also use a lighter wire dry fly hook, but the original's tied on a one X long nymph hook. Put a little super glue on the vise or on the hook shank. Just to give the thread a little stick. I'm gonna do the Royal version, which is kind of a Royal Coachman or Royal Wolf um, inspired color combination. And I like to start with some stacked moose hair for the tail. Want that to be about two-thirds the length of the body. I'm just gonna sneak my thread forward in some bundling wraps. When I get about two-thirds of the way forward. I'll stop. I'm going to trim out my excess here. Now I can go through and tighten up on that just a little bit. Once I get back to that tie-in point, we're going to tie in our foam. I've got two pieces. I've got a 1 mil olive and a black 2 millimeter. I've cut those to a little point and just to make sure everything kind of stays in place and doesn't roll around I'm just gonna put a little bit more of that brush on super glue there just tie that in on the top of the hook try to minimize how much I end up with at my tie-in point, I'll go in and just kind of get rid of any excess that I can and cover that up. There we go. Next part's going to be some peacock ice dub or prism dub. Dub on about a one inch. Fairly fine noodle then we're going to take some red holographic tinsel or flashaboo I'm going to do two strands tie those in we'll wrap our tinsel Wrap those forward, covering up your thread wraps, tie them off, and trim off the excess. Now I'll take more ice dub, about the same amount, inch long or so. Try to make an equal size ball to what you had before. Make sure everybody's in place there. I'm going to add just a little more dub. Okay. Now we can take our foam, fold that forward. I'm just going to do it one layer at a time. Take my two mil over the top now. There we go. This is where fine thread really helps on this fly. You don't build up a lot of bulk when you're tying that foam down. We're going to two sections to be about equal. So when I clip that, I want those to be roughly equal. 
I'm going to take some white winging fiber like McFlylon. Tie that into slightly longer than the front. Not quite as long at the back, so I'll go ahead and trim that out. I'm going to do some grizzly rubber legs. I'm going to use the grizzly micro legs from Hairline. I'm going to tie one of those strands in on either side. some hackle. We're going to do grizzly saddle hackle here. Just want to get a nice good sized grizzly hackle. Gives it a little bit more stability on the water there. There we go. Trim off a little bit of the excess, clear off the stems so you get a nice tie in point. And now I'm just going to wrap right in the middle there, making sure I kind of stay out of the way of all my legs and everything else. Kind of have to reposition things as you're wrapping. you get on quite a bit of hackle it helps give it a nice outrigger we're gonna go ahead and sneak our thread under and around three times give it a little tension then at this point I like to fold everything up sneak my thread under get it in front of the foam now go in and remove that hackle just kind of go in and make sure your legs are still happy and now we'll go ahead and whip finish Trim off our thread. Fold down our head of our fly. I can maybe take just a little bit off of that. I want the back and the front to be about equal in length. So the or the body and the front to be equal in length. Legs, maybe take those down just a little bit so they don't foul too much around the hook. And last but not least, we'll go in and trim our hackle flat on the bottom. And then what I like to do to finish it is get a little more of that brush on super glue. Kind of work that into the hackle and thread wraps there. Kind of make sure she's nicely secure, not gonna come undone on you. And there you go. This has been an awesome pattern for for us this summer and for me in particular. Great pattern, dry dropper wise, um, but just on its own, boy, it it moves fish. They come and eat this thing. So tie some up. And you can change the very uh, change the body colors, vary that a bit. This royal version has been working well for me, but purple, black, lime green have also been working very well for me. 
there you have it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon.